Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am up today for the UK Scrap Addicts with this month's theme of using 6x6 paper pads. So um, very quickly I've just drawn around a plate there to get a circle template and I've sectioned that off into eight sections so just um, straight up, straight across and then two diagonals. So I'm just going to number these just to make it a little bit easier for myself. So I'm going to cut down each of these sections to give myself a template to cut out from my six by six paper pad and the reason I've numbered them is because if they get mixed up then sometimes it's very difficult to put them back in the order that they should be in. Now they're pretty much equal sections but um, it's not an issue if they're not exact. Um, I know mine aren't exact at all. So I'm just using the, I'm going to use the, this is going to be a Disney layout so I'm going to use the Say Cheese collection for um, for this one and all I'm doing is just using that template to cut around the pattern paper and I'm going to do two of each section um, in the same colour so I'm just choosing some pattern papers that coordinate so I want a mixture of patterns so I've gone with a stripe and um, dots and big polka dots and I'm not going to get rid of the um, scraps, the offcuts from these six by six pages. Now, if this is too fiddly for you to um, to do it this way, what you can do is just trace around the um, the triangle shape and then just cut that out as well. Whichever is going to be easiest. And just finishing this one off here. And then this is um, all of the pattern papers cut out and I'm just going to lay these onto a piece of white cardstock. So originally I had them um, quite close together and then I decided to pull them out like a segmented pie chart. And this is going to form the basis of my layout. So whilst they're in position I'm just going to add on some adhesive just to get those stuck down try not to move them whilst I do this or so move the paper rather than the um, lifting the, the paper up from the other side and once I've done this so I stick down the outer edge um, just to make sure that that is stuck into position like so and then I'm just going to add a dab of the adhesive on the middle parts as well you could, if you wanted some dimension, you could pop these up onto some foam. Um, but I'm quite happy with um, with this being fairly flat. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put my photo on foam instead. So this is the photograph I'm going to use. This is a photo of um, me at... This was... I don't know if I was actually on the ride or not. Um, but this was me in Disneyland in California a couple of years ago. I think we're in the queue at this stage and so I'm just going to do my usual just to back that onto some white card and that's just cheap cardstock um, well cheap uh, it's just A4 cardstock from uh, Hobbycraft so those off cuts that I said don't get rid of I'm going to use those to back my photo so it's going to be the layers behind my photo so you see there I've got random bits left over depending on where I've cut it out of the pattern paper and I'm just going to use those so basically one in each corner almost of the layout so I'm just going to stick each of them down and then cut the paper to where I want it to show and then just the last one of the oh just the last bit of the yellow one I did actually put the yellow bit in my scrap, um, in my rubbish box, but I managed to retrieve it. Didn't realise I did that. So just adding that yellow one there and then just chopping that off to where I want it to show to and adding a bit of adhesive. And that is the layers behind my photo all done. So as I said, I'm going to pop my photograph up on some foam just to give that some dimension. 
Now I have linked below the blog post as well. So oh, I've got a little bug on the back of my layout there. Um, I have uh, linked the blog post below. So for more detailed shots and more information, then do head over to the blog post and have a read of it there. Um, and don't forget, we've got um, 15 talented ladies on the team and every month we use a different theme. So this month, as I said, it's six by six paper pads. And if you've been watching me over on my main channel, um, over on Scrappy Nerd UK, then I've actually been doing a series on six by six paper pads um, already. And again, all links to my um, social media or my Facebook, not my Facebook, my um, YouTube and my Instagram are in the comments below as well. So um, just adding on now some embellishments. So I'm just going through my um, 12 by 12 sticker sheets and I love that colourful magic one. I initially put it there just underneath the photo but it does get moved so I just peel that up slowly and I prefer to use this banner piece at the bottom of my photo and just tucking that in underneath. I don't want the ends to be seen. And again, if you want some dimension, you can pop some foam dots on the back of those banner pieces and um, that will give you that dimension. So I'm gonna stick that magic in the middle of that blue circle. It helps to move the black color around the page as well. And then in with that red polka dot um, heart as well. And yeah, I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit of a hoarder with these sticker sheets, so I have got lots of them. I don't know how I ended up with so many, um, but there's quite a few Disney collections available. Um, so I seem to have, I think I seem to have most of them. Um, but stickers are a great way of um, of embellishing. So I added that little strip on that says one more ride. And then oh, watch me mess around with this little tab. I wanted another pop of blue there and I just end up not being able to get it lined up straight. I'm happy with that in the end. Um, and again, that's adding the blue um, with the red hearts, which matches the um, that segment up there. So just some tidy word stickers and I add these straight onto the photograph instead this time. And again, that pop of black really helps um, move, the, move that black around the layout. So I'm gonna use this gold word magic as my title. And then I am using this other gold piece um, just to add a bit more gold into the layout. Um, I think uh, I think it's called a viewfinder, I think. And so I'm going to cut that in half and just add half to the left of the photo and then half to the right. And that helps with the circular pattern as well. So we've got a circle um, pattern going on with the segments. Um, and then another element of the circle will be that viewfinder. So I'm just having a look through my bits and pieces of ephemera and I like that little red circle with the white star on. And then I also find this little Believe tab as well. And again, that's got a um, some gold foiling on it. So that brings the gold foil back in again. So on to some different embellishments. So I'm just using this paper clip and again we've got the blue with the red heart um, still the same theme going on there as well and just sifting through to see if there's anything else I want to include then I find these chipboard pieces and I think they're from the say cheese collection um, you'll have to forgive me because I've got a mixture of say cheese and the echo park Disney lines as well all mixed in together so I've got two of these um, heart arrow pieces and I'm just trialing them in different positions and I decide to add one up to the top left and one to the bottom right and then the inner bits of the heart I've just switched them around so the heart that came from the bottom one I'm going to put with the top one and then vice versa I'm just going to drag that out of my scrap bin because I managed to put that in there accidentally and I'm then just going to stick it all down with a bit of um, adhesive, a bit of wet glue. This is a Tombow liquid glue. And this is my layout pretty much finished. So I hope this has brought you some inspiration to use your 6 by 6 pattern papers. Um, I know I'm a bit of a hoarder of them as well. So this has been great for me to be able to use 
use some of them up at least. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying scrapping my Disney photos. So um, it helps to um, add, an, an, add another layout to the album. And this is pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel. And um, stay tuned for some more awesome 6x6 layouts from um, some of the other ladies in the team. Take care. See you all soon. Bye.